Okay, so call number one was just to go over just the, the tutorial, like the, the, the setup, making sure that the business settings, making sure that everything was bookmarked. And, and now you got those seven bookmarks. That's where you'll spend the majority of all your time is clicking on those, those different things, those different bookmarks. Um, so that was all. We should have seven in there. So let's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Those are the top seven. So as you, as you start to build out any other pages, like in your whole entire sales funnel, whether it's Kajabi, whether it's, um, well, you got Linktree, you got Calendly, any, if you end up building out Kajabi in any other form or fashion, as far as just adding more pages, that's all custom audiences. So go back to the bookmarks real quick. So, so just so I, I want you to really like be clear on, 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 on how, how important the audiences are. So anytime, anytime you build out a new, a new page, if it's an important page inside of a funnel, make sure it's a custom audience all the time, all the time, all the time. Right. So always make sure that, that you're filling up these custom audiences um, in the future. And, and these will be based on pages that you add to a funnel, or maybe you go set up a whole new funnel it's always important to, to always have that first page, whatever that first page is. So in your case, we, we were focused on those two pages, the, the, free, the freebie and then the challenge. Whenever you have a funnel where it's, you, have, you have the first page, that's always a custom audience. And then, and then whenever you have a funnel that requires someone to opt in or someone to purchase something, whatever that next page is that they land on, as far as a confirmation page, we call that a confirmation page, a thank you page, whatever that page is, that's a custom audience as well, right? So, okay. so making sure that that those two pages are always custom audiences are so important for your business. And then also videos. So whenever you go and run a Facebook ad and it's a video, always make sure when you go set it up, you set up the video, you post it on the business page, just like we did. And then we come in the background and we run that ad right when you publish it and it goes live and it's set to go into review and then it's set to go live tomorrow morning, right away, always go and set up a custom audience. So okay. your custom audiences will be based on the, on the landing pages, on the confirmation pages and on videos. That's what you want to start collecting is, is all that data. Because again, on the, on the front end, we're always looking for that lead or that sell, but we fail to build the data. And that's what's so important. Okay. Is is for retargeting, um, and then also on on the the confirmation page. Any confirmation page that's always a custom conversion as well. So you have your freebie page. I go to the freebie page. I enter my name and email. I click sign up. I go to the next page. That's always a custom conversion. So when you go and run conversion ads, you're telling Facebook, hey, this is the conversion event. This is the link. This is the page. This is the confirmation page. This is my custom conversion. This is where I'm trying to get people to. Okay. Right? So, so that that's so important. Most totally, totally missed that part. Um, and then and then and then the pixel, just making sure that pixel is always every time I I I, I set up a new page or or I add a pixel, I'll always open up that open up a new tab and open up that page. So just because we may, may have set up a new page in Kajabi, for example, it's not over. Get the link, open it up in a new tab so Facebook can read it for the first time. And that's when you'll go and, and, and open up a new tab, open it, and then always check that pixel helper to make sure that's the right pixel code. So you'll always see that pixel ID number in that pixel helper. Okay. So you'll always want to make sure that that, 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 that's matching up. Um, and then, and then, yeah, custom audiences, custom conversions. And then now we're on, we're on multiple ad sets. So now I'm going to take you through not a full blown setup of an ad. We'll do that on our next call, but this specific call is, 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 is just showing you the targeting and showing you the proper way to actually set these ads up. Because again, this is something that everybody misses every, every, everybody misses this part. Um, and so here's what we'll do. We'll click the, we'll click the three lines to the left. Actually, perfect. We're right here. Okay. So this is going to be multiple ad sets. Okay. So here's what, here's what everybody does. 99% of, of, of Facebook advertisers. They'll, they'll come in here, they'll click the green button. Now these are our three tabs, right? You got the campaigns, the ad sets, and the ads. These are our three tabs. What it's all about, it's all about the campaign and choosing the correct objective, right? Which, which nine out of 10 times, actually 10 out, of 10, 10, 10 out of 10 times, we're gonna be going with conversions. That's done on the campaign level on that first tab. And then also you're choosing housing and going with that special ad category, housing. That's the first tab. 
The second tab is is the is the budget, the the demographics, the targeting, and 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 setting up the calendar. That second tab is what we're going to focus on today. Okay. So it 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 it's 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 separating your different keywords. This is this is what we call split testing. So I'm going to teach you split testing today. How do we split test to see which ad is performing the best? So we can we can we can dump all our money into that one target and cancel the rest. Um, that's what most don't do. So here's what we do. Let's 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 start from the beginning and we'll just click the green button. We'll go create as if we're going to come in here and and set up a whole new ad. So we'll go we'll go conversions. Since we have our conversions set up, um, we'll go conversions and then we'll scroll down. And then just um, sometimes I'll I'll just title everything here, but but I won't even teach you how to do that. That's fine. We'll just do it as we go. So co hit continue. And then so now as we come over to this first step, that's the title, new campaign. So what I always do there is I'll always just name it whatever video that is or whatever image that is, image in my red shirt or video, video, video of me in front of a house, like whatever, like whatever is going to help you know what video that is by just simply looking at the brief title. That's, a, mm -hmm. that's important because as you start to get a ton of ads going and you see all these blue dots, you, you don't want to have to click on each one to go into each one to see what ad that was. Okay. You want to be able to just read that quick brief title and know, okay, cool. That's that video or that's that ad. Like you'll know which one based on, on your titling. So in this case, just just put whatever. Just put um, put 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 whatever. This is going to be an example, um, setup of an ad. So, just okay. Put, put put whatever. Like put. Uh. Well, you know what? Can we, can we do the master class? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So um, we'll do master class. I know what that is. Okay. Perfect. And then and then in parentheses, I'll always put the objective. So in our intro, we put in parentheses video views. Mm -hmm. um, with this one, we're going to always put conversions, conversions, oh, conversions, this is going to be, okay. gonna be conversions. Yeah. Where this is going to be conversions and it's only on conversion ads where conversions is the objective. We're looking to capture a lead. We're looking to make a sell yes. That's conversions, right? Yes. So it's only conversions where we, where we, where we do the multiple ad sets. So this okay. strategy that I'm going to teach you today, it's only when you're running conversions. Okay. Which is all you're going to be running most of the time. So Click on that update ad sets real quick. Let's click on that and just clear this out and then modify ad sets and then we should be good. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we'll scroll down. That's all, that's it for, for, for tab number one, the campaign level. We'll always make sure this is off and then we'll just hit next. Okay, perfect. So this is where we're gonna be focused on today. Now we're okay. gonna go through, we're gonna go through the full setup. Um, now again, we won't run this ad, but we'll run a real ad on our next call. That's when. That's when that's when I'll want you to just make sure you know what ad we're gonna run because on our next call we're gonna we're gonna run the damn thing, we're gonna go from beginning to end and run the whole ad and make it go live and start capturing some leads. But today I'm gonna just show you some targeting basics. Okay. Actually, not even basics. This is ninja shit. Like this is some ninja targeting. Um, okay, so on the ad set level, let's just let, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name it. Okay, here's here's how. Let me explain it this way. Here's how you have to look at your business, not, not your business, but your, but your audience and your niche. So for example, your watch, go, go down to the very, very bottom, go down, go down to the detail targeting. That's where we're going to be focused on. Go to the detail targeting, right, right here, actually a little bit, little up, little up right here, right here. So the detail targeting hit edit. So when it comes to, when it comes to right uh, here, right below all the blue dot, you see detail targeting, uh -huh. so just hover over it and you'll be able to edit. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. Okay, so here's the deal. When it comes to our niche, we should we should know we should know our niche. You know your niche better than anybody. I truly I truly I already know you do. Like you know you know your audience. Like you know that realtor, you know what the hell they're eating, you know where they're hanging out, you know you know their swag, you know how to talk to them. You know that lingo, right? You that's your audience. Yes. And that's what makes me successful when I'm talking to these agents because I was a lender. I did mortgages. So as I'm, as I'm doing presentations and talking to these agents, that's, I truly believe that's one of my, 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 my strong points is the fact that I'm able to relate to them and talk their lingo, right? Because I know them, right? Because I come from the business, right? So in, 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 in any, in any business, we have to know our audience. And so when it comes down to it, there's certain keywords that, 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 that we, that we want to target. 
But in this case, what everybody does is they'll put a keyword in there. Watch, for example, let's just say you're, you're doing this by yourself, put in a keyword. So let's say we're going to target someone. We're going to target a real estate agent. We're going to target a realtor. We're going to target um, um, anything in real, real estate. So here's the deal. So you have interest and then you have, and then you have job title, right? So mm -hmm. in, in your case, and in my case, it's not the interest that we're going for anymore. In the, with the like ad, we went with interest. But when it comes to now really targeting, it, I, would, I would think it's best in, in your case, in my case, since we're you know real estate agent, to go after job title, so not interest. So we're looking for job title. So scroll, why don't you hit, um, hit, the, hit the browse and then you'll be able to go into, um, into, you'll see a drop down and you'll see more. Actually, it's just interest because you went, because you went, because you went, oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, because you went special ad category and because you went housing, then the job title may not be here. Let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. You may not be able to target job title. Um, and if not, then that's, that's totally fine if, if, if you're not able to. Um, uh, it not, might just be, it might just be interest. Can you scroll down? What's below air conditioning? I'm like, trying to get down there. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, browse. Interest. Okay. So it's only interest that is in the housing special ad category. So, and that's fine, but let's just see what other ones are down there. It's not letting me scroll down. No. Oh, well, hold on. Let me click and see. Job title won't be here for you. And that's totally fine. So here's what we're going to do. Type in, type in real estate, type in real estate. And so as you type that keyword in, there's many that pop, pop up. So here's, mm -hmm. what, here's what rookies end up doing. They'll end up putting a bunch of keywords in here, mm -hmm. right? You'll go real estate, you'll go real estate broker, luxury real estate. Cause logically we're just thinking, okay, shit, if I can dump as, but as many words in there as possible, then, then I have a great chance of, of hitting that audience which is true for sure, which is true. But when it comes to the analytics and when it comes to my money, when it comes to knowing which word is actually the one performing, because I could put 10 words in there. I could put 10 words in there, but what if nine of them ain't doing shit for me? It's only the one word that's bringing me that, that ROI. I need to know that. I need to know that up front because if I don't know that up front, I'm spending money on these nine other keywords when I could have just dumped everything in that one word. Okay. Makes sense? Yes. So, so, so here's what we do. We type in one word, go ahead and type in type, go, yeah, type back in real estate. And then, and then what I normally do is I'll type in, just hit that interest. The first one, real estate, click on that and then go suggestions. So here's what I was trying to explain earlier. As, as we, as we go out there and find our audience, we should know our audience. We should know our audience. So when it comes down to it, there's that one power word which in this case is real estate. That's the mm -hmm. one umbrella power word. And so what you always want to want to want to make note of is all these other words. So so even 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 writing those down on a on a notepad or putting it in an Excel spreadsheet or whatever the hell makes you, you know, your notes or whatever, writing all those down are, are somewhat important because as we go in and run more ads and as we run this ad, these are all the different ones. All we need to do is type in one word, real estate hit suggestions and Facebook's going to give us all these other power words. And those are, those are our words. But again, what rookies do is they'll dump them all right here. What we're going to do is we're going to separate all of them. So we're going to separate all of them. And that's how we really see, we really truly see our ROI. And we're going to, and I'm going to show you how to separate all of them. I'm going to show you how to set all that up. So, so okay. in this case, all we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to put that one real estate in, click out and that's it. One okay. word, one word. So let's go back up, up to the top. Let's actually walk through this. Let's actually fill out everything because, because what we want to do first is, is go, go from, from, from tab one to tab two, which is where we're at now to tab three. And then we publish and we're not going to make it go live, but, but we're going to publish it as if it's going to go live tomorrow. So we, and, and, and we're going to use this one as our blueprint. So this is our blueprint. And actually, you know what? It's not masterclass masterclass. Is, is the first one. That's all we need on the masterclass. This one, all we want to do in the ad set name is real estate because that's the keyword we're, we're, we're targeting, real estate. That's it. That's the keyword, okay? And then what you can maybe do is put dash and, and maybe put 
U.S. if you're targeting the country or if you're targeting different states, maybe just maybe just put in the state. But what I would do is I would target the U.S. I would target the U.S. And then and then and then Facebook is going to is going to end up showing that ad to everyone and narrowing it into who is actually, you know, clicking and, and, and opting in. And we'll be able to see those metrics and only focus on those states for the future. OK, in the very, very beginning, let Facebook go out there and, and, and just target everyone. And then and then in a few days, you'll see and you'll be like, OK, only certain people from certain areas are clicking. Let's just focus on that area. OK, so we'll leave it broad here on the first one and then we'll go down. So so there's a website. We'll scroll down um, towards the middle and then we're going to go to the very, very bottom. There's a budget and the budget is only it's going to be daily. The, in this case, it's going to be daily and it's going to be five bucks. OK, so we're going to go five dollars daily budget. We're going to set the start date for tomorrow, 6 a.m. And there's no end date because when we run this, we're going to have we're, we're going to we're going to we're going to we're going to take a look at it in a few days and, mm -hmm. and we're going to we're going to shut it off from there. So I don't need Facebook to end. I don't need an end date. I don't need them to shut it off. I'm going to I'm going to shut off a few of these myself okay. manually in four days. OK, so in four days is when you can really see the numbers and really see if, if, if one ad is going to perform or not. In four days, you should be able to turn one off and or leave it on. So okay. we'll leave. We'll just leave the, the end date open. And then so we'll scroll down. So that's the blueprint daily five bucks next day. And then we'll scroll down. OK. And Hold then on. now what we're going to do is we chose um, go ahead and go down a little further. So we. So we got, um, we don't need any custom audiences in there right now. We don't need to exclude anyone right now. Now, now keep in mind, this is, this is the first ad, right? Now, again, it's just an example, but let's say it, it is the first ad and we are going to run it live. After you do this and after you start capturing some leads, whether it's one lead, whether it's 10 leads, whatever, the moment you capture one lead, whether it happens on this ad or maybe it happens on the next ad, whatever, whenever that happens and you capture that first lead or make that first sale, every ad after that, you're excluding. So as you come in and set up another ad, you're excluding the custom audience of your leads. You're excluding those who opted in for the freebie. You're excluding those who, who, who signed up for the challenge. You're excluding anyone who purchased your, 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 your courses or your coaching. You're excluding that custom audience. Okay. And, and again, don't, don't worry about having to be a master at all this right now. You're going to get me, you got me from this point on. So if, if we need to, we're going to jump on a million more times. Don't even trip. So, so, but that's what so you're exclude the custom audience of your actual leads or customers. Mm -hmm. So anyone that opted in for the freebie and landed on the confirmation page, that audience needs to be excluded. That makes sense. Right. Because if I've already downloaded your stuff, why, why do I keep seeing your ad? If I already bought your course, why do I keep seeing your ad? So exclude the custom audience of your actual leads or customers or customers yes or just simply or or just register or just web web class registrants master class registrants whoever mm -hmm. registered for the damn thing they already registered so anyone who comes in through your front door i i i just and and just just imagine that if, if i come up to your doorstep right now you open up the door you say david come in okay cool i'm in the living room now that audience whoever stepped into marky's living room they ain't seen the ad no more okay that's your custom audience, your living room custom audience. Everyone's still at the front door. You know, those people that are still at the front door, I'm going to I'm gonna include, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to target them. If you're still at my front door and you haven't walked in, you're going to keep seeing my ads. You're going to keep seeing my ads until you walk in. I got you. Right? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so include, exclude, that's going to be major, major, major important from, um, from pretty much ad number, let's just call it ad number three and on, because ad number three and on, you should start having some data. Um, of those who are still at the front door and even those who have walked in. Those are your audiences. Okay. So, but right here, first ad, we're going to leave that blank. No custom audiences to include, no one to exclude just yet. Um, okay. So we'll scroll down US, age, gender, all that's good. We have our one, um, what's that analytics? X that one out. Um, yeah, X, perfect. So we have our one keyword. We have our mm -hmm. one keyword right there and we're good. So scroll down. Okay, and then languages, if anything, you can narrow down that, the languages, um, hit 
hover over that and just edit and, and maybe just target English. You could do that for sure. Um, English all. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay, now we'll scroll down. And then what we're going to do is um, automatic. We'll leave it at automatic. That's fine. And then we'll scroll down and that's it. That's that step, that step two, that's add add set level. That's that's the step the second tab here. And we're okay. good. We're good. So now let's go next. And then over here, we're not going to we're actually we we could have posted it on the business page for sure. We could have posted on the business page for sure, whether it was an image, whether it was an ad, whatever. Um, in fact, let's just pull something from the page. So um scroll down. We got our Facebook page right, and then and then right here we're gonna mm -hmm. go. Um, actually, little uh, right there, create ad. You're gonna click on create ad and just go to use existing post. So hit that drop oh, down. Okay. Create ad, I got it. And then use existing post, and just pull just pull anything random from from your page. So, so use oh, select post. post. Select post. Yep. Okay. And we'll uh, just grab we'll just grab anything. Oh, well, I wanna. Um, I would like to take them to this dang on thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just click that real quick then. Let's just, we'll just use that as, as the example. Okay. Okay, cool. So we'll hit continue. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll scroll down and then all we're going to put over here is the add button, the call to action button. And that's the action to the freebie page, or that's the action to the, to the challenge page. Okay. Wherever we're oh. trying to drive them to, to opt in. And, and we'll always go with learn more too. If you hit that learn more drop down, there's a bunch of different options. Facebook has, have, has done their own study and they came to find out that the most clicked on button is learn more. Okay. Um, you want me to go pull any random site or, or pull, pull your, whatever image, whatever ad, whatever post that was. Okay. Um, here. Now the, I got the link. Here you go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll paste that in there and then we'll update post. Okay, cool. So that right there, unfortunately, someone wrong modifying the call to action button. Um, is that? Oh, it doesn't have to be to a Marky Lemon's Rao asset. Yes, it does. Um, that's what it was. Yeah, that's ah, that's, that's, that's where. Okay. So then let's go back and change the post. <laughs> yeah, let's put. Um, uh, let's take them to a Marky Lemon's Rao one. Who is this? Creating lanes of value. Let's go with this one. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take them over here to uh, markylemons.com. Let's go to blog post. Just get the right one, so to be set up right. What is this? Creating lanes. Well, that's creating lanes of value. Uh, add a button, right? Learn more. There you go, perfect. Let's paste this. Let's update post. Okay, Bam. Cool. we're good. Awesome. Okay, so now we'll scroll down and we'll just make sure that that pixel to the left, we'll just make sure that that pixel is, is green. Um, what pixel? That one right there. Yeah, so scroll down that bar. Yeah, that bar. Right this there. bar? Yep. Actually, more to the left then. I guess you got to you gotta put your cursor right where it says learn more. We got to scroll down over there. So there's, uh, more, there's more. Learn more. Okay, let's you go. With learn that. more button. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. So down to tracking. Okay, cool. So everything's green. That's the pixel that's, being, um, that's running, mm -hmm. right? And so that's why that other link didn't register because Facebook right away knew that the pixel wasn't on that page. Okay. And the link and the link wasn't marketlemons.com. So, okay. so now, now we're good. So now we're going to scroll down. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. And now we're going to publish. Okay. So again, we won't run this, but we're going to go through the full blown example as if we are. So we'll publish it. Okay. So now that becomes the first ad set. We're running one keyword and the keyword is real estate. So okay. now here's what we do. We X out in the top left. Let's X out of this window here. Right here. Yep. And then we're going to come back to the dashboard and we're going to hit one selected, one selected, one selected. And we'll get knock them out. Right. Actually, you know what? Okay. Look, this is, this is what I, what I, um, what I always try to explain to, and I and I and I'm pretty sure I touched on this on our first few calls. As you're navigating through Facebook, um, by default, they'll throw you in your other account. Right now, we're in your other account, right to uh -huh. the top left, Marky Lemons. Yep. See that? 
Yeah. So, so that happens a lot. As you're navigating through the damn thing, you're like, holy shit, I was in the wrong account the whole time. So, so what we want to do, cancel this? No, no, we'll just we'll just roll with it. We'll just roll with it as, as the example. But okay, but yeah, you'll always want to check that drop down in the top left. The two and make sure I'm in the right account. Okay. Yeah, click it real quick. Click it. There's there's that other drop down, right? See more ad accounts. Yeah. Yeah. See, so it was that one we should have been rocking with. But it's all good. Let's let's just we could just do the other one. It's okay. Okay. Let's just go back to the other one. You we'll use the other one as the example since it's already there. Um, okay, cool. So so here's the deal. That one ad is going to be in review. And, and do me a favor, hit the, the, the two ads below it. Let's turn those to gray, the blue dots. Yeah, these we'll always want to, yeah, shade it to gray, click it, shade it to gray, and then click the middle ad oh, set. Tab. Shade it to gray, shade it to gray. There you go. Okay, so uh -huh. click the middle tab, ad sets. Ad sets. The middle, yeah, right there. That's the, tab. Uh -huh. these are our three tabs. And let's, let's shade all these to gray as well, the completed, just the completed. Okay. Yeah, the second one down. So the second one down, the third one down. Yeah, let's all let, let's okay. And then click on the the first tab, campaigns, and let's shade those ones. To Wait a minute, uh, I think that's the one we're running right now. Yeah, no, we want to keep that one blue. Blue, yeah. yeah that Hold one, on. that one goes blue. Why won't it let me turn it back? Um, it's publishing for a four. Okay. Once it completes. It, oh, yeah. so it wouldn't been. It would. Okay, so ad set everything is gray. Now go to the last Actually, one. Actually, everything except for. Let it let it finish publishing because it's still publishing. Oh, I got you. But um, once it completes, then we need to turn that real estate US. We need to turn that one back to blue. Okay, good. So now click on the first tab campaigns. Mm -hmm. let's just make sure that this is good over here. Okay, so these blue ones, the second one and down, let's shade those to gray. So we'll always want to get in the habit of, of even though it's off, shade it to gray. Like that way, when you come in here and you're looking at your, you're, you're looking at the dashboard when you, when you get confused. It, yeah. You just know when it's blue, it's on. Yeah. Right. So, okay. So we set it to go live tomorrow. So this mm -hmm. one is scheduled. That's already approved. Click on the middle tab. You'll see the middle this tab. One. Yep. It'll say scheduled as well. So, um, actually, it's not over that, here. Where'd that ad go? Campaign masterclass resource. Wait, I'm yeah, sorry. It's not, it's not, it wouldn't be resource. It would be, um, Let's let's click on just maybe check the box. Check the box to the blue to the left of the blue dot, and then click uh -huh. on the middle tab, ad sets. Okay, there yeah. it is. Okay, perfect. So that's scheduled. That's already approved. And the only thing that stays in review for several hours is the the third one to the right. So click on ads for one campaign. Uh -huh. This one will be in review. Okay. So Facebook's just reviewing the text, the image, the video, whatever it is. That's what's going into review. And then once it goes. Once it approves, that's when you get the email from Facebook saying your ad is scheduled or running. That's okay. when you know it's approved. Um, okay, cool. So now let's go back to the first tab, campaigns, and we'll X out of the. Actually, you can leave it. You can leave it. You can leave it checked like like this. Okay, perfect. So here's what we do next. Here's what we do next. Here's the ninja, the ninja targeting. So we just fully completed one one full blown ad the the keyword is real estate now we come over here we check the box and we're going to click on the middle tab so we're going to click on the middle tab and we're going to simply click on the green one now we're going to create a new one we're going to create a new target based off of that old or based off the original ad so mm -hmm. you have one ad, that's the blueprint. That's our first ad. We're going to we're going to piggy bank off of that one. We're going to simply work off of that one. And mm -hmm. now we're going to add more keywords, but we're doing it separately. Okay. okay. And 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 once we once we go through this full-blown process several times, which we're going to do right now, we'll be able to look at it and and it'll really make sense. So the campaign that remains the same. Masterclass conversions. The mm -hmm. ad set name, and here's why here's why um, and we'll, we'll name it later. Just hit continue. But, well, I, I took a picture of the names. Oh, perfect. Put one name in there. Put one okay. name in there. Hold on. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, real estate investing. Perfect. Okay. Put that, type that in. That's, that's the ad set name. And we can go, we can go real estate investing and we'll go dash us. Perfect. And then, and then the third tab ad. That could be that could be whatever. That I don't even think we named the other one, but um, just just put masterclass or whatever. Oh, we already got masterclass. We can just put real estate invest and ad, like, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So it all be in 
Perfect. Okay, cool. And then and then we'll go continue. Okay. Okay, cool. So now everything else we're gonna we're gonna clone, we're gonna we're gonna match everything we did on the other one except for the one keyword. So now down here, we're gonna go back daily budget, five bucks. We're gonna start the 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 date tomorrow, 6 a.m. Um we're gonna target the US. Everything is the same as that other one, but that one keyword. Okay, so we'll scroll down and then now um, leave all that locations, leave all that. We're good there. No custom audience needed, nothing to exclude. We'll scroll down and then we'll just simply go to the detail targeting right back up. We yeah, because I thought, I thought I had the word I had to add. Oh, right detail target. Yep. So this is where we're going to add real estate investing. And we always want to make sure we see the drop down. Always go with the drop down. Even oh, you know what we didn't do? Did we pick that housing? Actually, Let's we did. Back. We did. We did. Because okay. we, we simply were, were working off of that housing campaign. Paint. Okay. Right. Uh, we're, we're real estate investor. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's make sure we see the drop down. Mm -hmm. There it is there. Perfect. Real estate investing, bam, we're good. Okay. okay. So now we'll scroll down. We'll get out of. We'll click out of that. Automatic, fine. We're good there. We're good there. Oh, it was one other thing up under here. Languages. Languages, English. Perfect. I'm glad you caught that. English all, um, and then that's that's it. And then we just come back down to the to the third, um, tab. We'll hit publish. Actually, you know what? We won't we won't publish just yet. Let's just click on let's click on to the very very left. Mm -hmm. You see you see the red triangle. And then yep. you have new ad right below mm -hmm. the very, very bottom. Click, Click on that here. One. Yep. Perfect. So that, that brings us to the third tab. Okay. okay. So, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. We ran this first one, right? We ran the first one. We went through mm -hmm. all three steps of the first one. The keyword is real estate. We published everything. That ad is in review right now. It's set to go live tomorrow. But as we come back in the second time around, mm -hmm. as we come back in, we're, we're, we're piggy banking off of pig, piggybacking off of off of the first campaign, which is conversions, housing, right? We're, we're going off of that first campaign. All we're doing is changing the ad set. All we're doing is changing the keyword to real estate investing. Now, as we do that, we don't publish. We went straight down to the third tab, which was new ad. Now we're over here. Yes. Okay. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to finalize this third step, which all we're going to do is, ch is choose the same ad, the same post. We're mm -hmm. going to put the same link. We're going to do all that the same. In fact, I don't even think we got to put the link because it's already there. It's already uh, here. Yeah. So scroll down. We got to learn more. We're good there. There's that. Okay, good. So we're good. So here's, here's my point. So we don't, we don't publish it just yet. So if anything, let's name it at the top. Let's change out that title, new ad. Let's, let's make it match. Um, Real estate investing. Yep. Okay, good. So now, now, now the green button lights up. Again, the first time around, we chose the word real estate. We published the first one. We're not going to publish the second one. We're going to let it marinate. We're going to let okay. it marinate. We're going to come back to it. So now let's just X out. So top left, let's X that out. Close, don't publish, close. Okay. Okay. And we're good. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're going to we're going to actually click on the setup error. Let's let's see what that is real quick. I, I think it's mm. because we didn't um we didn't publish just yet. Enter. Oh, actually it's the website. Okay, so go back in, edit, and let's um let's scroll down. I could have swore we already had a website. It did. It had the Candace Spear in there. Let's um let's go ahead and add it. Yeah, let's add it right. Add it. Here. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. Okay. Huh. That's so that's the um okay. So this one is checked. That's the one we're going off of. So now let's click the let's click the middle tab, the tab, the ad sets for one campaign. So now do we want to keep this check? Yeah, we want to keep it checked because that's what we're going off of. So we're going okay. off of that one. And now we're gonna go to the ad set and then just hit the create from here. Create, but don't check, right? Okay. Yeah. So let's create and then go ahead and name that real estate investing. And then just dash us. 
and then maybe just do the same or the yeah the same for the third one okay cool continue okay perfect so we're good okay so now we're in the ad set now we're going to simply scroll down and we're going to simply change out actually we don't got to change anything we got actually yeah we got to change out this 20 so go to five bucks and then just the date and all the same Okay, perfect. And then um, nothing there. We don't need any audiences there. Oh, yes, I thought that was a real estate investing. Never mind. Yeah, it's a little lower, right below locations, age, and then the detail, detail target. targeting. Yes, yeah, so that's real estate investing right inside of there. Let me make sure that I put that detail targeting. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so there's that one. And then we'll scroll down. And then we'll simply change out the language or add English all to the language. And then you could just hit the drop down. Perfect. And then scroll down. Um, we'll leave it at automatic and everything is good. So now hit the hit the the red triangle to the left. Let's let's go to that one. Okay, perfect. So now we're over here. Okay, good. So now this becomes we got to simply add that that other one. So we're going to scroll back up and just go down to create ad. Just hit use existing post. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm here. Do yep. what now? Scroll, scroll down. down. Add setup right here. Uh -huh. Create ad. Uh -huh. Use existing post. So hit that drop down. Create ad. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Why am I not create ad? Okay. And then use existing post. And we're going to just pull that same one. Okay. Okay, perfect. So there's that. there's that same one. Okay, okay, I see it. Okay, perfect. So we're good. So now there's the pixel. Everything is good. Now we're gonna we're not gonna publish. We're gonna X out. So go ahead and hit that X on the top left, and then close. Okay, perfect. And we're good. So now uncheck the one selected to the right on the ads. So hit that one selected, or you can just Wait, or you can uh, just on the ads. Yeah, right there. One selected X out of that. Mm -hmm. And then X out of that middle one. Mm -hmm. and then let's go back to the campaigns tab. Okay. So now let's check the box again. Masterclass, check, the blue next to the blue dot. Uh huh. We'll check the box, click on the middle tab, add sets, and we're going to do it again. Create. So here's what's happening. As you can already tell, cancel this real quick. As you can already see what's going on, the flow of everything, all we're doing is we're taking our power words. And we're setting them all up individually. We're setting that. them all up separately, and we're setting them all at a low budget. So, so, but at the same time, here's the deal: the more and and you don't got to. I mean, like, because I got coaches and mentors and all this shit too, right? I'm learning Facebook ads from freaking ninjas, right? And and I've spent a ton of money on on learning all this crap. People that I'm learning from, they'll come in here, and and this is later on. This ain't us. This ain't even, this. I don't know where you're at. Like to tell you the truth with budget, but, but me, I, ain't, I ain't all up there just yet. Right. Like I got some cats that I'm following that I'm learning from where they'll come in here. We got two of them. We got, I got, I got mentors that I'm, that I'm learning from. They'll come in here and they'll set up 70. Okay. And that's crazy. Right. So you got 70 and they're all running at $5 a day, but here's the deal. You ain't going to go that high just yet. We're going to start small. So, so, and starting small is at least, at least you want to start off at at least five of them. Okay. So, so if we're at, if we set up five different keywords, all five bucks, we're at $25 a day, but that's not, that's not, that's not going to be for a long time. That's only going to be for a few days. Okay. So, so it's only running, it's running five different keywords, $5 a day for, let's just say four days. Okay. In four days, we'll be able to look at these numbers and see which word is actually performing. The ones that are not, we simply come over here, we shade it to gray. Okay. We turn it off. We turn it off here. We don't turn it off on the campaign level or even, even, even the ad level, the ads for one campaign, the third tab. We don't turn it off there. We turn it off here. And, and we're, we're clearly going to see it in four days. We'll clearly see, okay, this, okay. Real estate investing is giving us leads at, at, at $4 a lead. Real estate dash us is giving us leads at $9 a lead. Okay. Well, shit, turn that one off. 
right? Okay. And so when you're looking at it on a, on a grand scale, like you got five, 10, 15 of these damn things running at one time in this first four day period, that's when you're able to capture as much data as possible and know which keywords are not working. And it's not that that word doesn't, it's not that, it's not that the word's not working. It's just the fact that maybe the ad, maybe the image, it just didn't relate to that keyword at that given time. But that's our keyword, real estate. I mean, anything real estate, that those are our words, but they may not have performed based on the ad and that's fine. So if they didn't work on this one, it doesn't mean I'm going to throw that word away. That's my word. So I'm going to just use that word maybe later on down the line on a different image, maybe on a different video. I'll come in here and I'll, I'll set up new ad sets again using all the same words, but on a different ad. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I'll just, my whole goal is just to see which one's performing, which one's performing in that given day, which one's performing on that given ad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so let's do it again. We're right here, middle, first, create. second, second ad set. We're going to hit create. Mm-hmm. And we're going to simply come back in here and, and the ad set. Now let's choose gonna that do this word. Luxury. I don't even think I'm luxury, but well, it's the next word. So, well, to tell you the truth, that those are, that's actually a really good target because you're looking for agents that sell yeah. luxury because then, then they're, the, they're the ones that got the money. That's going to go with it. Let's go with it. Luxury US. The ones that can afford your, your offer. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, perfect. So we'll go luxury real estate and then we'll just hit continue. And then all the same setup, except for that one keyword. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down, change the budget to $5. Star date tomorrow, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Scroll down a little bit more, leave audience alone, yep. come down to detail targeting, targeting. Mm -hmm. we're going to put in luxury real estate. We're going to wait for it to populate. Yep. It's and sometimes there. when you type it in and it doesn't populate, hit backspace, like hit backspace, maybe take off a few letters and then you'll see it drop down. Okay. English all mm -hmm. keep coming on down placement yeah. everything looks Perfect. good now hit the red hit triangle this. to the left it's the okay. red triangle hold on let me write write my note red triangle that's the third tab the red triangle okay so then we come back over here to luxury and I'm seeing the ad set start to build out yep. okay so we hit this. Yep. There we go. So now we're over here. And so we'll scroll down, add setup, and just hit create add, add, hit the drop down. Add, use, use existing mm -hmm. post. There you go. It pulls it in. There's there we it scroll is there. down. Make sure everything looks good. Yep. Make sure the pixels lit up. Track pixels lit up. And then we're we good. go to cross it out, right? And then we're gonna exit out. Yep. We're gonna exit, exit out. out. Perfect. And then and we'll hit close. close. Yep. And then now we're back over here. So now we're going to X out of the one selected to the very right on the third tab, which is ads. ads. X that one out. Is this the one we're in? That's the that's the one we just we just finished. Luxury real estate. Okay. Yeah, you'll exit out. Exit yeah. out. Exit out. Now we got the middle one. Click on that. And now uh -huh. we got three of them about to pop off. But right. here's the deal. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. We only fully published on each level, campaign, publish, ad set, publish, ads for one ad set, publish. Now it's mm -hmm. in review to go live 6 a.m. We only did that on real estate-us. Right. Right, that's our blueprint. Mm -hmm. so the reason why we only published that one first and we haven't published the other ones, it's in draft, in draft. The reason why we haven't published those just yet is because we want the first one to approve first. Okay. So let that first one, and it's going to approve no matter what, because now we're going special ad category housing. So there's no reason why it shouldn't, but, mm -hmm. but we always want to just, just be, just to be safe. Let it approve first, because if you publish all of them, let's say we go set up five to 10 of these damn things at one time. And let's say we publish all of them at the same exact time. And for whatever reason, it gets rejected. All 10 of them got rejected and that shit looks bad. So when, you're, you. when, you're, when Facebook's saying, damn, 10 ads rejected, what the hell is going on with these people? That's how they look at it. So, so 
you don't want to have so many rejected Rejection. at one exact time, like on the same second, right? So, so we'll let that one approve first. And the moment it approves, then all we have to do is come in here and hit the blue button at the top, review and publish for. You click on that and they and then they all watch. Go ahead and click on it. Oh, okay. Click on the blue one at the top. We won't uh -huh. publish it just yet, but here's what you'll do. So you'll see everything right here. And all you'll do is you'll smash that that green button publish and all okay. of them publish. All right. Okay. Um, so that first that first one, real estate dash us scheduled, it shouldn't be in review no more than no more than no more than five hours. That's why I okay. always set the ad to go live tomorrow. Like I always want to give Facebook the rest of the damn day to review the damn thing and, and approve it. Um, and then again, the moment they do, boom, I'll publish all of them all at once by hitting that blue button. Okay. And now they're now they're all scheduled to go live tomorrow at six a.m. and and there's no rejection whatsoever. Okay. Okay. So now let's uncheck that luxury, uncheck that box to the left. Mm -hmm. And then let's click on the first tab campaigns. And then let's check that box to the blue dot to the left of the blue dot. Check that. And let's do one more. So let's we're working off of that first one. We click on mm -hmm. the middle tab. Mm -hmm. Adds add set. Click on the middle, right? Yep. Click on the middle. Oh, one. but you had to check it first. You then check click the, over you here. Check it on the campaign level first. Check it on that's the campaign what we're, we're going off of is that okay. first that first one hit so create. Now we'll come over here hit create we're going to call this uh investment perfect now here's the deal here's the deal i don't know if i would use that word investment for what right yeah that's what i was thinking so, yeah. so let's 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 property it. house home anything else anything else well actually you know what Anything, yeah, well, damn. What about real estate? Oh, we already did real estate investing. We already did luxury real estate. What other keywords were there? Uh, property, house, real and property. We, and if we don't, we don't have to title it just here right now, right this second. So we can always go into the continue and just and just look at some more words. Oh, I so, got you. So well, let's let's do leave house. Let's do house US, right? Okay, do house. And just so we'll and we we'll see what that keyword is. Okay. Why don't we do why don't we do unknown? Yeah, leave it, leave it, leave it. Go to huh? yeah, we'll we'll retitle we'll title it later. Yeah, just, but just I mean we'll know that word is not known. Okay. Yeah. And now it'll force me to have to look at it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay cool. So uh, uh, okay, continue. Okay, cool. So continue. And so now we're back in. So now let's just scroll down. We'll change out the budget. And then, yeah, we'll change out the budget, the date. We'll just do all, everything the same. And again, if we got to come back in and look at more keywords, that's that's what we'll do right now. So we'll go, we'll go May 14th, next day. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. Okay. So May 14th. Okay, cool. So we're good there. And then um, locations, age, gender, detail, targeting right here. So, so if anything, type, type in that one word, the first word, real estate, type in real estate. And let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just go off of that one or not, not go off that one, but we'll hit suggestions. Actually, there is no suggestions. So why not type in real estate? Cause it's because of the category that you're in housing, there's so many keywords that were taken out, but it's, it's all good. Now so, suggestions. No, we, we won't go with real estate. Actually, there we go. Now suggestion. Okay, so click on it. Do you see any or? Yeah, okay. So okay. these are all the ones. So so anything in your case, real estate, bam, real estate broker. That's a, that one. That's who we're going after. Real estate broker. Click on that one. Click on oh, that one. Click quick. on it. Yeah. Uh, and then just delete the first, the, the top one, real estate. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, there you're going, in your case, you're going for anything that has real estate broker agent anything like that like luxury real estate anything like that um not just housing you know what i mean yeah that that's so many you're gonna hit so many average consumers with with that keyword um and that's not really our demographic that's not really who we're trying to target okay so, so we'll scroll down and then we got did we name it at the top uh we had unknown but unknown. let's take this is yeah we'll put real estate broker Oh, dash US. Okay. Okay, cool. Perfect. And we'll scroll down. And then um, all that's good. Daily five bucks. We're good there. We're good there. 
We're good there. English all placement. We're good. Okay, cool. So now the red triangle, we'll click on that red triangle to the left and we'll simply come into the last section. We'll rename that unknown US. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then we'll scroll down. We'll go with create ad, use existing post. And that is that. And so now we'll come over here, learn more. Everything is there. The link link is there. Perfect. Pixel is, is there. We'll look at the tracking. Everything is green. We're good there. Perfect. And then now we'll just hit the X in the top left and exit out. So now we'll just um, X out the one selected to the very, very right. So we'll X that one out. And then we'll just click on the add sets, click on the tab. Perfect. So now we got four of them ready to roll. Mm -hmm. And so I highly, highly recommend starting off at at least, at least, at least five, minimum five. And okay. again, you're not going to run it forever. We're only going to run it for five will run for four days. Okay. And then, and then on, on either, on either the fourth day or, or, or the beginning of the fifth day, I would let it run for four complete days. Okay. Four complete days. And then you come in here on the fifth day and you, and, and, and that's when we're shutting off ads. Okay. That's when we're going to come in here maybe shut off four out of the five, because that one is just, is just outperforming every other one. So we shutting them all off. Okay. We need that's to add one more then, right? We can. Yeah. Let's add one more. So let's uncheck okay. the one selected, uncheck the box. And then let's just go back to the campaign. Campaign. Masterclass. Check that box. Come back I ain't going to gonna say center. nothing on this one. You're going to rock with this one. I ain't going to say nothing on this one. Okay, yeah. let's see. Check the second one. Uh, add set. Hit create. We don't know what it's going to be, so we could just leave it yep. blank. Okay. Yep. Hit continue. Uh, we're going to actually scroll down first. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do daily ad budget of $5. We're going to start it to run the next day all the time. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at it at 6 a.m. We are going to continue to come down. We're not going to touch that create a new audience. What we're going to do is scroll under to that detail targeting. We're going to type in the word real estate. We're going to select it. We're then going to hit suggestions. Mm -hmm. We are going to come over here after we hit suggestions. Oh, where did my wire go? Let's go to suggestions. And we're going to think about what would a realtor search for, right? Um, Not exactly what they would search for, but what word would pertain to them. Um. And, and, a, and a bunch of these ones would too, because every realtor, watch, go back down. Every realtor is probably looking at, is probably looking at homes.com. Every yeah. realtor is probably looking at, at Zillow. Truly. Well, I'll, I'll go at home. Let's do, uh, well, Zillow has been very popular lately. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let's go Zillow. Go Zillow. Then so now go back to the top, take away real estate. Real yep. estate. Go, go to the to top and name it. Name it. Zillow. Zillow, and we're going to do dash uh, US, and we're going to scroll back down. So we have the placement. We got the $5 budget starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We know that Zillow is our word, and we're going to add our language. English all, and we're going to continue to scroll down, and looks pretty good so we would hit that red triangle over to the left everything good perfect red triangle it is okay so when we come over here to this red triangle we're going to do this zillow us mm -hmm. okay we're going to scroll down to create an ad yep. hit the drop down use the existing post we are going to scroll down to check the pixel is firing. So the mm -hmm. pixel is firing. 
everything uh, looks good. So we would cross out. Yep. We would hit close. We would come over here, cross this third tab out. Yep. We would then come to the second tab. We now know yeah. that we have five. There it is there. So we would uncheck it and then come over to the campaign. There it is there, Marky. That is what it is. So check that box real quick to the blue to the left of the blue dot. And let's mm -hmm. go into the ad sets, click on the middle tab, and let's just look at what you got. So so that right there, that right there is 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 how you split test. That's how you split test your keywords. So so from this point on, just knowing what keywords pertain to your business, to your audience, to your niche, that that's what you want to keep in mind. And you don't have to really make a note of it because you can always come in and and sometimes there'll be different words. Like you you but but what you'll always want to go off of is that one word. Type in that one word, that one power word, which 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 in this case we started off with real estate. We type that in and then we just leverage Facebook. Hit suggestions and let them find a bunch of different words for you. Okay. Right. So don't think you need to know these different words. Facebook already has all the suggestions. Go off of those ones. So I have a question. At the yeah. top it says eight with this review and mm -hmm. publish, right? Yes. Why is it eight? Very good question. So oh. you got four in the ad set that are that, that haven't been published, and then you have four in, in the, the ad ads. that hasn't been published. Okay. okay. I got it. So so once this one is approved, then I would come back later today and yep. approve, hit the blue button, approve them all. That's it. You hit the and, blue button and then you hit the green one. And so then hit the blue button real quick, and then you the hit that button. green one. Yep, I got you. Uh, yeah. Blue, the bottom blue, green. And then you publish green. That's it. Okay. So now uh, I do have another question. Uh, we need to look at our... So I'm going to turn these off. Uh, they're going to run all day Saturday, uh -uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Mm -hmm. So then the question is, what does your schedule look like next Tuesday for us to do that six call and set up the ads, right? Because yes. we will so, want to wait, right? Yes, exactly. So let's go back to the ads manager real quick. Let's make let's let's turn that one off because because we're not going to run this one. Oh, we so, not okay. No, we're not going to run this one. We're not going to run this one, especially not to that link, not to that blog. Not okay. We're not going to run that at all. So let let so now let let we we'll go back. Let's go back to the first tab campaigns okay. tab, and then let's shut it off right here. So just t take that that blue dot to gray. Uh huh. To gray. That's off. And then and then and no, leave it leave it checked. And then go to the uh -huh. middle tab, ad sets. Okay. And let's shade all these ones to gray. To gray. Oh, because if we were gonna do it, we would do it to something we really want to do it to. Yes. Okay. And then and then click on the middle on the third tab to the right. Ads for one. You got to always click on each tab and turn them all to gray. So click on that third one to the right. Ads. Yep. And then oh. shade these ones to gray. So that's how you fully turn off the ad. You just shade them all to gray. Yeah, I was um, wondering about that. Is there one more? That's one, two, three, four. How many? Are we, is there? Is there? It a says one? it says results from four ads. Okay, yeah, it's four. It's four. Yeah. Okay, so so we're good there. So now just X out of the one selected, one selected, one selected, and and you're and you're good. So um, and then one selected, and then at the top, discard drafts. So let's discard right drafts. Yes. Okay, so discard. Perfect. So it just clears that out. Okay, cool. So that right there, Mark, is how you run multiple ad sets. Okay. That's your targeting. So, okay. Makes sense? Yep, makes sense. Awesome.